Three doors stand before you. Behind one is a car, behind the other two, goats. You pick door one, one in three chance of winning. Simple enough. The host, who knows what's behind every door, opens door three. A goat. Now you face a choice. Stick with door one, or switch to door two. Intuition tells you it's 50-50, but that's the paradox. Our instincts tell us the odds reset, yet they don't. Here's why. When you made your initial choice, you had a one in three chance of picking the car. That means there was a two in three chance it was behind one of the other two doors. That's just plain probability. Then the host opens a door with a goat. Crucially, the host is not choosing randomly. He's deliberately avoiding the car. That one action doesn't make your original choice more likely. It shifts all that leftover probability to the remaining unopened door. Switching doubles your odds. Two-thirds chance of winning. Staying, only one-third. Still feels wrong. Imagine this instead. A hundred doors. You pick one, and the host opens ninety-eight others, all goats. Would you stay with your first choice? Almost no one would. That's the same principle, but scaled up. The paradox isn't the math, it's the brain. We misjudge conditional probability. We assume the world resets after new information arrives. But reality doesn't work that way. Probability updates, whether we like it or not. The Monty Hall problem teaches a deeper lesson. Sometimes the smartest move feels counterintuitive. And if you can't trust your gut, you have to trust the math. 